Ooh, okay. Good evening, Twitch. Uh, sorry for the delay. Technical difficulties. Not that uncommon, I guess. But, uh... Should be able to get things... Rolling now. I don't actually remember a whole lot about what was going on last week. I guess we'll find out. Greetings, Zarl. What do we have? What's what's going on? What's the deal? I don't have a map of this area. Typical. I, I don't actually remember like how hostile this area was. Seems pretty quiet. We had a locked door, huh? We had some keypads. We took care of those, those digits. But what else? Um, oh, that's right. Okay, so we had, uh, we had, we had two doors called out to visit, right? S S7 and S12. And I punted on checking these doors, maybe, last time. Let's take a peek. What do we have? Delicious health drink. Okay. Tissue and alarm clock. Got a magazine. Just some, some kind of gossip magazine. Oh. Teaching despair. Hope House. Hope House. An orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill. But behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed? What? Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society. Wow. A charity organization sometimes called 4S. I get it. I get why. Um... It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. Well. <laughs> but at its heart, there's a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. This is coming from the magazine. This is a... This is like a... Um, hello or something some kind of tabloid deal but they're they're talking about heathenistic charities super weird hey palanday how's it going uh anyway mr smith temp who lives near hope house what do they mean by that Mr. Smith Temp. Does does he work there? Sometimes at night, I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he, tr when he attempted to take photographs in the facility what exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? These are great questions. 
Um, so I forget what year this came out. Uh, it had to be early 2000s, right? 2003, 2004, something like that. Uh, I'm, I'm just going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to ruminate on that for a moment. Anyway, uh, during my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower, which appears to be a part of their facilities. This is really oddly written. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what that tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. Hmm. It may, in fact, be a prison or a secret place of worship. Those are definitely two options. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. Wait, I thought, I thought they called them 4S. Okay. I guess 4S is the charity and whatever whatever is the the cult organization that has absolutely nothing to do with the charity i don't know it's a religion that is deeply interwoven with silent hills history but its worshipers fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side is that anti-semitic i don't know about the voice of this article this is a little weird it's super weird, actually. Um, and it just it keeps on going. This is all we're doing tonight. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I al I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. All right. All right, man. That's, uh, that was really in that magazine, huh? Ouch. Yeah, okay. All right. The deepest lore, yeah, served up on a silver platter. So, so that was S1. S2 is a no-go. What's, what's this? Busted. S3, broken. S4, oh, we're getting in there. What is this, jerky? It's the beef jerky, okay. S5, nothing. It's the Silent Hill 1 cult. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Zoro. Um... They didn't really make any direct references to the cult itself in Silent Hill 1, if I remember correctly. There was some religious art, um, but it didn't really feature in the, in the story. S6. Uh, the lock is broken. I can't open the door. It's a nice looking padlock, though. I don't know. Collection of stools. All right, S7. Nope. Nope. Okay, we're going in. That was a little weird. I feel like... Oh, uh, okay. I feel like I fucked up. I feel like I just ruined it there. By prematurely getting spooked when I'm supposed to get spooked right after coming out of here. Oh, okay. So last week, um, we talked about how one of the dolls that this person has been leaving is going to have, uh, Harry's face, I guess. Maybe this is it. The busted doll. Let's see what they say. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry. I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. 
If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone. More beautiful than this one. I don't... And I have been waiting for this day. For today. The day I'd see you. And the day you'd save me. Today. I'm really not into this at all. Uh, watch out for Leather. Leonard. He is no ordinary guy. All right. Um, he didn't sign his name this time, which is upsetting because I can't actually remember his name and he signed it every other time. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to like watch the VOD or something to find out who he is. I guess I should, um, briefly take a look at my health. I'm pretty healthy right now. Just to get a little refresher of what items I have on deck here. Nothing that interesting. I do have that jerky. 24. Ooh. I could, uh, I could go nuts with the jerky. Just dish it out. But I'm not going to. Okay. So. I say doesn't go anywhere. Elevator not working. Oh no, don't pin me in. S9. Whoa, somebody just shot at me. Oh, 11, 12. 12 is the money. Here's Leonard. I can't believe they're shooting at me. That's... Oh, really? I don't want to... Sweaty bed? Year old sweat. What if I just let the phone ring? I need to pick it up, don't I? Look at all these bags. I got a TV up there? That's wild. That's wild. Okay. feel like some animator Hello. worked real hard on that phone cord. No, I'm not. Don't lie to me, Claudia. You're always trying to run from your responsibilities. And no matter what they did, have you come to apologize? The art director was like, no, this looks like shit. How foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. It's the kind of thing that what a ridiculous dream. People Wait, go crazy over. Listen to me for a second. And it's so small. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Claudia? That's what My I'm saying, name yeah. is Heather. <laughs> Heather. Who are you? Leonard Wolf. Oh, it's I'm Leonard. Sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Who's afraid of Claudia Wolf, I guess? Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No. No. Never. When I find her, I'm. Oh. <laughs> what? what? Behind your words, the anger, you plan to kill her, don't you? I, I I'm sorry. But I still she, don't really get why. Oh yeah, that's right. She, she killed thinks she my killed father. her dad. She's a fool. But she's still my daughter. I was going to forgive. Thanks for the recap, Heather. If she changed her ways. But I see it's too late. Heather, will you help me? Help you? I'm locked up in here, and I'm 
must stop Claudia. Where are you now? I'm not sure myself. But the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. I think I can be of help to you. I have a seal. Please. A seal? I mean, he may be crazy, but I'm I'm into the I'm into the shit he is saying to me. The end of the hall on the second floor. I want I want that seal. End of the hall, second floor. Well, you know what? I'm I'm gonna try and check out the rest of these rooms before I, uh, yeah, okay, there's nothing here, there's a mob, uh, oh god, the, the gunfire, Jesus Christ, guys, come on, should I, uh, which one of these is my guy, there we go, I should be careful because, uh, because they may have spawned more enemies all over the place, right? Oh. I was looking for the closet where the, uh, where the bonfire was. Where is that? In here. There we go. We're just gonna re up, re up the old safe spot. Nothing new in here. All right. The bonfire, yeah. You know, where I save my progress. Man, they're still doing that weird sound effect shit to keep me on edge. And I'm super into it. I mean, I'm not scared, but... But I love that they're doing it. Okay, so... This isn't the end of the hall, right? I mean, I've already... Or maybe it is. Alright, I guess I'm... Oh, God! Which hall? Just gonna run. All the way down. M. What is this? They're going to make me run away from some magic stuff, right? I've seen this shit before. They did they they really liked this gimmick in uh in Dampor. And also, I guess there was that one section in Silent Hill 2 where they got uh, Pyramid Head to chase you through some bullshit hallways. I don't know if I trust this. Let's go. Son of a bitch. Any moment now, the world is going to start, like, fracturing, being ripped apart by, uh, nothingness. These look like, these look like strong hands, don't they? I was in the supermarket the other day. 
and they were playing the never ending story theme over the PA. And I don't know why. It really, uh, it made my checkout line wait kind of stressful. Because the song, I guess ironically, or non-ironically, really fucking drags on. This, uh, this feels like it's turning into a puzzle where I need to keep track of which direction I go. But I refuse. I'm just going to keep running. I'm just going to wing it. I don't know what's happening now. I mean... Well, that looks like a seal. Is that the gift from Leonard? That's, uh... Okay. This one doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it. Um... Oh. I can barely hear this. It's going to be extra quiet for all the viewers at home, I bet. Um, yeah, was I daydreaming? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. Well, um, Lisa, who is so heaven, heavenly, wait, what? Lisa, who is so heavenly towards me in that hellish hospital room. When did that happen? Somebody cared for her? I don't remember. Uh, she did get a little weird, though. Was there really a scene where where Heather was in a hospital bed somewhere? Like right after we got in here, maybe? Maybe that's what it was. I don't remember talking to a friendly once we got in here. This is looking more and more videodromey. What? I don't like these sounds or this whatever this is happening here. He's cranking a he's cranking a valve. I don't like that. Why was he why was he cranking? Al Cranken is his name. Okay. All right. Yep, this is a... Uh... Welcome to Meat Space. Please, uh... Please pick your top eight. Crankenstein. Yes. Oh, shit. That's a big old pit. All right. What the fuck? That looks like an elevator. And, of course, it doesn't fucking work. Are there doors? Um, I feel like there's something coming to get me, and I... Yeah, there are locked doors here. Shit. Alright. They just like... What is this? Why is this like this? There's a fucking... It's a hand. Yeah. Touch it. Lick it. Taste it. Okay. 
that was um, that was a psych reference. I don't know if anybody watches that show. It used to be real big with the reruns on uh, on the USA Channel all the time, just nonstop episodes of Psych. Gus used to tell Sean whenever there was blood involved to lick it taste it you cut yourself lick it it'll make you feel better okay I don't like this situation I guess it would help if I can uh Whoa, what the? What the hell is this? Some dramatic piping? Alright, okay. I guess... I guess we're just going around this way. Okay. Yep. The little crawlers. Ah. Right. Where are we headed? We were already on the second floor. No, we weren't. Maybe... Maybe I have to go to the end of the hall on this second floor. Even though I already went to the end of the hall. Whoa, look at this. We got some spooky... Uh, Spooky. I don't know what this is. They did a really good job at not letting me just look at stuff when I want to. With the with the fixed camera angles and the shitty controls, like it's very hard to get the camera to a place where I can just examine stuff like this. I guess the uh, the scum all over the window helps as well. We're going in there, I guess. Oh, I see a plastic bag. Oh, interesting. Shitload of health drink. Nothing important in the trash. I want to see that magazine because I bet there's a thrilling, uh, detailed account of some other charity group that's actually a cult. Oh, oh. Come on. Work with me here. Okay. Something strange cooped up in the locker. Yeah, really? Shouldn't get too close. Okay. Fixed camera angles and shitty controls. The trademark of survival horror. Yeah, that's, that's true. It's not a mistake. They did it on purpose. There's a paper bag here with nothing but garbage inside. Oh. This paper bag and I have a lot in common. Blood-stained white robe. Does it mean anything? Sure. Sure does. I want to look at that poster, but Heather probably doesn't care. Okay. We'll leave. Now, wait. Which door? This one. The other door. Somebody's calling. Are you shitting me? Ugh. I played Alone in the Dark on the PC and liked the very first part, the very first Resident Evil on PSX. 
can get into some aspect of Resident Evil. Yeah, it's not for everyone, Flangy. In fact, uh, I didn't really click with the Resident Evil franchise until 4 came along, which was kind of like a big enabler, you know? Like, they, they loosened up the controls, made it easier to move around. Uh, they heightened the action aspect considerably, and uh, that just worked a lot better for me. I'm looking forward to checking out this uh, remake, too. I'll probably plan on streaming that after this is done. Everybody seems to be enjoying that one. And then after I do it, maybe, uh, maybe that'll be what I need to finally go through the original remake of the first one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Remake is great. Happy Which ones are? One or two. Oh, I forget your name. Who are you? Oh, okay. Thanks. Happy birthday, dear. Who are you? Happy birthday to you. Happy of two? Yeah. Birthday. Is this Leonard? That's the murderous name. Not my name. I'm not your beloved Stanley either. He's underground now. His new name is number seven. <laughs> number seven from room S7. Oh, don't worry about Stanley that was his name. It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. I'm Today's not mistaken. Not... Today is your 24th birthday. This guy is... And I have a present for you. Which do you prefer? To give pain? Or to receive it. What the hell? You can have the one you hate the most. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Man, this reminds me of that whole... But you're wrong. It's not my birthday. That whole birthday party escape room section in Resident Evil 7. I'm glad that Heather wants to keep correcting this guy on her uh, date of birth. Got to set the record straight. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold steady with yellow, I guess. I'm gonna risk it. Hey, buddy. Oh, okay. Wait. I got turned around again. Yeah. Was there anything here? Just the locker? Okay, I guess we're done with this whole section. Let's just skedaddle. Is that a different door? Yes. Oh, oh, my god. What just happened there? Yeah. There's the elevator. Gonna ride it. I don't know where to. Maybe we'll check out some of the basement floors. Since we have extra, extra basement now. No. Nope. All the way down. B3. B3 is where the shit goes down. How am I doing? Still okay. I... I wish I could eat this. You know? Maybe I can. Eat some jerky? No. That's not what I meant. Just take a sip. Oh, these are numbered, huh? So Stanley's on uh, 
Gurney 7, which would be this one. And they are doing something janky in this game. It keeps hitching. It keeps hitching. Um, so let's check this out. Let's see. We've got a... This um, looks like a bunch of hands for some reason. The floor walking sound effect really grates. Yes. You know, I'm glad. This uh, this whole stream really just needed a lot of a lot of puns. That's that's what this was missing all this time. Come on, Heather. Show some interest. I What? Come on. Am I supposed to like use an item to do something with this? Shit, I don't know. Are there what is happening? Oh, wait, there's a combination lock, I bet. Okay, so. Okay, two, six, nine, seven. Do we get uh, any indication of the order? How many, how many, I mean, I don't know how many uh, permutations I'm going to have to go through. If I'm just guessing. This seems annoying. Is there some other clue? I don't see anything here. Uh, oh, wait. Wait, there are Roman numerals carved in here, right? I see a three, three, two, one, four. What does this mean, though? Like the grid. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe this has to do with um, the layout in the room, the gurneys, grid for the beds. Yeah, exactly, Zara. So. Um, okay. So let's uh, let's take a look at the room. 
So we got two next to each other over there. And the gap. So what's the orientation here? One, four, two, and three. Okay. Checking, checking. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this holds true. It's unlocked. Yeah, why? Why? Uh, one of my favorite things about Silent Hill Downpour was that they just had a shitload of these combination lock puzzles. Um, and the digital ones, the ones that didn't have like Tumblr safe combination locks um, the cremated key the the digital keypads they uh, they must have used some kind of like shared memory for their state like all of the keypads in the game use the same the same data <laughs> and so if you mashed a bunch of numbers in and then left without unlocking the, the lock and then found another keypad later on in the game when you uh, when you first approach it it would have all the numbers that you mashed in there just uh, kind of fun um, okay cremated key I found this in some sort of crematorium underground it's burned black but still usable it doesn't actually look that black. Um, but I, I don't know where I want to use it. I don't remember finding a locked door. But I guess... Whatever. Uh, okay, so maybe I'll go to the first floor. Maybe this is like a repeat of the office building. Where you gotta do all the bullshit and then you can leave. Wait, there was there was a locked door somewhere. If I had a map, I bet I could find it. What is this? Okay. All right. The world is teeming with unnecessary people. Oh. Is this where Thanos comes in and... Shit, wait, I missed it. I missed it. Uh, seems like I've heard this protector of the seal business somewhere before. I want to see if I can read the next section of this thing. It's not as anywhere near as long as that magazine article. It's God's decision that I fight as a knight of honor, as a protector of the seal, 
I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. That is an interesting sentiment. Okay. Silent Hill Infinity War is uh, one of the most, I don't know, ridiculous crossover events ever. It's not really, I mean, what would they cross over with? That guy's a dick. Oh, I used the key on the door. All right, fine. Yeah, all right. I guess I'm just gonna go for it. Ow, Jesus Christ. My buddy. Why you hit me with your pipe? I didn't do shit to you. What is, oh God, I'm all turned to right now. I don't like it when they make the world all veiny like this. I also don't know how to describe this other than vain. This is, oh no, this is not good. Ugh, get up. Let me out. I'm gonna have to fight. Roll. Just roll. Shit, okay. Hey, creepy Trevor. Welcome. Okay. I took some hits there. That was uncomfortable. Um, hold on. Take a, a couple little sips. <laughs> oh, this room. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna save before I investigate. The, uh, the interior here. All right. I just want to get out of here. Get me back to those foggy streets. Okay, so what do we have here? We've got, uh, we've got an IV stand with what appears to be some blood bags uh, we've got a little a little altar area some candles and uh, painting of some kind um, not your usual stretcher this is more like an altar of some sort let candles a knife and is that blood I smell there's blood all over the place Heather come on Did they worship that picture or something in that picture? Well, yeah, I think it would be pretty, pretty laughable if the object of worship was a painting. That's some Vigo shit, right? Was that? Those candles don't light, light themselves, so huh? you wouldn't download a car. I believe it. Lost memories. This is going to be great. Let's uh, let's read some more. One characteristic mentioned only in the rare documents and dying out in the modern age is the ritual of sacrifice. Offering prayers. Pierce a man's chest with a copper stake. Drench the altar in blood, which spouts red from the heart. To praise and show loyalty unto God. Yeah, this all sounds good. Another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book. The victim is burned alive. Being there, done that. This was a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Oh, plot twist, I guess. Similar to burning at the stake, no comparable rite can be found in religious in religion practiced nearby. It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god, like Ra. Now we're 
stepping into Stargate territory. Silent Hill doesn't really strike me as a sun god kind of a place, right? Well, maybe maybe they're worshiping the sun god because they're tired of all that fog and they they just want some clear skies. Even though this religion extols redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cultish history. Sure. I buy it. Totally. All right, so what am there's nothing else to do in here. This is it. Do we do a sacrifice now? Blood. No, we just go back out there. I mean, where am I headed? It was awful out there. Elevators busted. And I guess I'm just really lucky that I found that safe spot. Because now I'm just fucked. I gotta kill these guys. I can't be living my life like this. I can't, uh, I can't tell what's a door. What's not? I'm just covered in assholes. Where am I headed? Oh, oh, come on! No, no, no! I'm gonna die. This is not gonna work. Oh, but there's so many health items over here. Grab them. Okay. All right. The world doesn't pause when I think about. state of the room, I guess. That door's fucked. I don't know which way I'm headed. I'm... I feel like I've been here before. This is, uh... Oh, maybe not. Hard to say. I've kind of lost track. This is, uh... knows what is happening. There's the elevator. I mean, I feel like I've really lost the plot at this point. Like, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to... Yikes. Not really sure what I'm supposed to be headed towards. Um... I used the key to get... What did I get from opening... I got the plastic bag from a trash can. God damn it. I got the plastic bag from a trash can. Am I... Ah, shit. Am I supposed to, like, use it at the altar somehow? Combine it with something? I need to find something else to combine it with, I bet. Okay. Let's see. Um, I don't remember what was on the third floor. It's probably not the same third floor that I saw before, because why would it be? Whoa, buddy. What is this? It's a room full of... Oh. Oh, that's kind of cool. The room in the mirror is different. It's getting all bloody the uh, the wall and floors are weeping with blood 
No, it went away. Oh, it's me. It's me now. Oh, shit. Now the wall's in here. It's it's happening. I should I should leave maybe. I don't know. I don't know. What? Yeah, there we go. I think I I think I know about this actually. Number one, I think there was a, a section that was kind of like this in Silent Hill Downpour. It must have been inspired by this, this scene. And secondly, I mean, wasn't this the, the second Silent Hill movie? Wasn't there like some big deal about there being a, a shadow Heather that was like... <coughs> All reversey and stuff. Is this her? Did she just come into being? I'm getting covered up in the stuff. I'm de I'm dead. I'm dying. I guess I was supposed to leave after all. I thought that was a big set piece. Game over. I really uh. I really asked for that, I guess. I was looking forward to like a little, a little freaky spooker, spooker town. Like a uh, haunted house type action. I thought we were doing a bit. Turns out, no, the bit was doing me. Well, I guess, uh, I guess I can try and... Okay. I don't think I'm going to get anything out of this, but... I'm going to try and use the plastic bag here. You think it locks me in if I wait too long? Yeah, maybe. Can't use that here. Okay. Now, good luck trying to find my way back there. Because this was all horrible. They're really grabby. I found a door. Okay. This is, uh... Oh, it's the nurse room. Okay. Jesus Christ. Ah. Wait, is there something under the bed there? Oh, I'm gonna get battered to death. I think there's something under there. But they're gonna kick my ass. I'm gonna try and exploit the bed geometry here. Not very successfully. Oh, wow. I'm a fucking ultimate smash. Silent Hill style. I don't know what you're doing down there. I don't like it. I want you to stay down. I've, uh... I've made a really good effort to not fight things in this game. But sometimes you just gotta crack some skulls, is what I'm thinking. Well, let's let's see if there's any way that I can look at this. Okay, something on the ground. Is it a birthday card? I missed this last time. Happy 38th birthday. That's not me. 
14 plus 7 plus 17 is 38. What, is, what does that mean? Is this another code? I'm going to write that down. 14 plus 7 plus 17 equals 38. Whatever. But it's not my birthday. All right. Yeah, I am all kinds of messed up now. Feeling better. We're doing okay. Hey, look at that cool little cartoon rabbit. It's not all about you, Heather. Yeah, exactly, Paladin. It's somebody's birthday. Shit. Oh, oh my god, Heather. Come on. Something falling on the floor. Yikes. That's a, that's a yikes from me. Okay. Did we make it back to the blood room yet? What was that? Oh, God. Jesus. Nope. Can't get enough of that. What is this? I don't remember coming through here last time. God damn it. Nothing else in here. Uh, I don't have a map of this area. Just in case you were wondering. Oh. What's that? Another note? There's a memo on the chart. Dr. Midkiff. New character unlocked. Please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. He should still have his religious freedoms here in the hospital. But he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumor has it he got here by stabbing someone over a re religious dispute. Please be careful. R. Crosby. P.S. It looks like the rumor is true. According to the head nurse, I don't think he's a good person. Wow, that's okay. Otherwise, though, easy to deal with. Okay, well, great. He did a stabbing, but he's, uh, he's nice, somehow. I guess, um, I'm starting to wonder a little bit about missteps that I'm making. I'm going to keep just saving over. I'm not going to, not going to second guess myself too hard. Because, you know, what if I never find my way back to that blood room? Well, the answer is, who cares? Unless, of course, it's, like, related to game progress, and then I guess I will have to consult a walkthrough or something. I already, I already looked at all these doors. What am I thinking? This one is locked. 
Alright. Guess we go back this way. Which floor is this? This is the third floor, right? Am I supposed to, like, be thinking about the real world space and, like, which which rooms were significant there and which ones were locked? Because I don't know if I can muster that kind of mental agility. I don't deal with you anymore. I do. Yeah. But at least I don't have people shooting at me over here. Which, which room is this? Okay. This is, uh... We're back at this. Cool. What's going on over there? With the nurse. Alright. I mean, Jesus Christ, I don't even know what floor I'm meant to be interrogating. Feels like a bunch of dead ends. Uh, I'm just wandering around, hoping that I can find something to combine with my bag. Actually, you know what? This is like one of the more aimless feeling streams I've done in a long time, for this series at least. Normally I've, uh, I've had a, a fairly tight focus know where I'm headed. But right now I've got a bunch of floors and none of them seem to be taking me anywhere. Get off of me. Creep. Here's the glass. The glass room. That door doesn't work. Naturally. Get off. I bet these guys will stay dead if I kill them. Oh yeah, here's the locker with the phone in it. Remember that? That was like forever ago. Oh, this is the locker with the... the thing. Oh, I bet I know what's going on here. This is gross. This is actually, I mean, I don't know for sure, but but like what if No, I can't. I can't use that here. I'm wondering if I'm supposed to sacrifice this thing. That's weird, right? If I if I kill it, That was not effective at all. She, uh... Yeah, maybe that was a bad guess. I was thinking maybe I was supposed to, like, hold the bag out and, uh... stick this thing for a sacrifice and then dump the blood all over the altar or something. This is my mind just trying to, like, put all the chaos into order, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, what else is there for me? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna start swimming. This is horrible. This is horrible. Well, I guess one of the cool things is that uh, if I die here, 
I won't need to go and like re-acquire that that code, the birthday card code, because I think all of the all the combinations and codes and stuff are locked in early on in the game. I'm just gonna bounce to another floor, maybe. So that information is good, no matter what. And I don't need to go out of my way to, uh, to learn it. Oh, they're shooting at me here. I think that's horrible, to be honest. Oh, I'm back in this bullshit room. Was there a, was there another basement floor that I need to look at? The patient in room three one two. Um, I haven't actually seen door numbers lately. So I don't know what to do with that information. Jesus. I don't see anybody with a gun. So I don't know why that keeps happening. Shit, what is this? What is happening right now? What is going on? Oh, okay. I thought they were going to do something cute, like, uh... Like, drag me off to some hell prison or something? Lock me up? Do it like that, you know? But that's not what happened at all. Nope. I'm just back here now. So what about it? What about it? Let go of me. Good lord. Okay. Isn't this right where I where I died? Yep. Location, location, location. Fellas. Ugh. I don't know where you came from. Oh, they're just all over the place. Elevator doesn't work. Conveniently. Is there, is there a door? Yes, there is. Oh, 
We're back at the altar room. Jesus Christ. Actually, you know what? I am... I am very unsure of what we're doing here. When I, uh, when I did that combination lock, what did I get? I got the, the, the cremated key or whatever. Did that open this room? I don't remember. Surely there's got to be something that I do in here. But I don't know what. I think I'm... I'm pretty sure I'm still missing an item. Something to go with the, uh, the plastic bag. is a mess. Just gonna keep crawling. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to call it here. This isn't going great. Probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to do a little cheating. I'm going to do some research, read up a little bit. See if I can make sense of what's supposed to happen here. Um and yeah, I'm going to turn in a little early. I got to get up early for uh for an appointment anyway. So this is probably for the best. But Thank you, everybody, for hanging in there. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get this resolved next week. So, everybody out there in Twitch land, thanks for watching. Have a good night, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>